Zagreb is a seriously cool and underrated city. It's also where 550,000 people came to celebrate Croatia coming second in the World Cup. So today we check out <laughs> we check out that square, have a look at the main market, and then explore the largest building in Croatia, which is a cathedral. I am. Welcome. Hi, welcome. <laughs> we're going to explore further into into the city today than what we have been before. We're going to go and check out the, the square where 550,000 people, well, they all came out for the celebration, but where... For the football. Yeah, Football World Cup World second Cup. place. There's the local market, which is super traditional, not very touristy, where it, um, the locals do all the shopping and everything, which looks really cool. And that is closing quite soon. So that is our first stop. But keys and we won't talk much now. I get yeah. the feeling we're going to be doing a lot today. Let's go. A lot of walking. Let's do it. Just off the main shopping street here, a walking street. This is the world's smallest or shortest, I suppose. Same thing. Um, funicular. Apparently, what did you say, babe? This is the this is considered lower town. Lower to upper town. And that's that's upper town. It looks like in height wise, it's about 20 meters. It's so small. So to get to the market we actually have to walk through the square which we're sort of just on the edge of right now but because it's almost two o'clock and i think the market closes at two or three uh we're going to have a bit of a wander through this bit first from what we can see from this lower but looks like there's some stairs lots of like uh oh it's cool yeah lots of lots of plants and everything down this lower end anyway and then i'm assuming once we go further up see more clothing and there's painting and arts and all sorts of stuff and oils and all sorts of stuff like that so we're gonna head further up where it looks like it gets a little bit denser and a bit busier this is definitely this is definitely the busy area big open square up here and this is a lot more of the fruit and fresh produce and stuff by the looks of it and then over the back there that's the cathedral that we're gonna go check out those are the um, the dual spires but we're gonna go for a little bit of walk and see what's in here this is essentially, as far as we know, this is like a, this is the local supermarket, so to speak, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been like shopping at the traditional local supermarket, but this seems like, well, like a much yeah, the, better the, place. Yeah, the this chains, the supermarkets, the inside ones, they with air yeah. conditioning. <laughs> Whereas this seems, yeah, it's actually really well organised. So on this side here, this is all cheeses and everything, which I'm quite surprised by. They're all in glass cabinets, and then there's fruit. One thing that I'm noticing though, there's a lot of flies. There's a lot of flies, yeah. A lot of flies. So fruits all down this end and jams, and then over the back, even more uh, vegetables and produce by the looks of it. So I think we'll probably come back at some stage and do some shopping here ourselves. Buy some fruit. If, <laughs> if we can find amazing fruit that doesn't have flies all over it anyway. <laughs> but there's definitely a more local feel. I haven't heard any English. Everyone no. here looks like they're shopping and they're very locals and you can spot all the tourists because they're just like us walking around with cameras. Huge cameras. And that's nice. <laughs> and then there's little places around the outside that you can sit and have a drink and have a coffee, which Croatia does so well. You can't come to Zagreb and not find a cool place to sit down and have a drink and people watch, that's for sure. Correction, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but these are wasps, not bees. Look at them, they're all here. That's a good example. Look at these guys. They're actually wasps on there. What are all these? It's so weird. We're like, oh, there's one right by my face. Okay, we need to leave. <laughs> we need to walk. <laughs> I don't think they'd do anything, do you? I mean, I hope not. No, we hope not. Oh, there's lots of the Croatian national team stuff here as well. So this is the main square of Zagreb and this is where after the celebrations went through the streets and everything that all the players and the, stadium, uh, the stand and the presentation and everything happened. I think it turned into a bit of a party and there were like fireworks and stuff as well. We're gutted that we weren't here maybe like a I month know. or yeah, two or three weeks earlier. So the name of the square has changed quite a lot of times. And I've done my research because I want to get this pronunciation right. If you speak Croatian, or even if you don't, comment below if you think that I've done well here. It's now called Banjalicica. 
<laughs> that's that's my pronunciation. I think that's right. So he was the governor at the time. Band I think means governor, and Yala Chicha was just his last name. So the square is named after him. That's that's literally him behind me on his steed. It was removed in 1947 because leaders found it to be overly representa uh, representative of nationalism in the country. And then I think it was in about the 90s that they brought they brought it back and put the statue back in there to to be proud of their of their heritage and their culture. But it's a nice square. It's not busy at all. Like where is everybody? It's strange. Everybody's getting on the trams. They're at the market. <laughs> yeah, they're all up at the markets, flying, running away from the wasps and trying to get onto the trams. Cathedral. So it's Zagreb Cathedral. Yeah. And we can actually see it outside our window at home. Yeah. So which great. We actually mentioned that at the end of the last vlog. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, so it's not like, wow, so new and fresh. <laughs> we have seen it before. Well, you can see it from anywhere in the city yeah, as well. But it'll be cool to see it up close. And I've got some interesting. Uh, some knowledge bombs. Yep. Some KBs. I'd like to say I did do too, but Dane's done all the <laughs> all the research. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know what changed just from literally walking off the square right there. And then you stepped out and now it felt like it's like an old town. Instantly. The buildings start to look a little bit different. There's a lot more cobblestone streets. And then there's uh, gardens and stuff and then there's a little bit of a, a construction or something here which looks like it's a 3D type map. Present day Zagreb developed out of two medieval settlements apparently. Wow, this is crazy. I love it. Wow, cool. okay, so there's, yeah, there's the. That's the church there, which is where we are. Oh, that's loud. Are you breaking it? <laughs> no, I'm playing with the, the wheel thing. Oh, what is it? It says uh, welcome and stuff on it. Oh, oh, it's very hot. It's very hot, yeah. You don't tell me that bit, too. <laughs> More cities should have something like this. It's really interesting. This is brilliant, I really like it. So we've just sort of been standing here for a couple of minutes now having a look and trying to work our way back from uh, the, the, the monuments that we know that we've seen today and in the last video yesterday. So working back from the square and from the cathedral which we know is just up behind us here and then down the streets to where we think our Airbnb is or where we're staying. We won't show that otherwise we might get people knocking on our door. Yeah. <laughs> I think I also like that I can get in close and it makes me feel like I'm flying the drone over the city without breaking any laws. What do you think? I, I really like, like genuinely like Zagreb. Yeah. It feels a lot like my favorite town in Europe so far, which is Krakow yeah. in Poland. Yeah. Um, yeah, same, same, but different. I just like, it's hard to explain. I just like the vibe of you it. Get, yeah, it's always difficult to get across, but some places you just get a feel. Yeah. And Zagreb has a feel. And it's a shame because so many people skip it because they just use it as a bouncing spot to get. I mean, we did we like initially didn't think of it as no. being a place that we would no. come and visit but I'm glad that we did. And it is so big you can just keep walking there are so many streets that like our eyes are just scanning there's so much that we want to go and explore but the cathedral oh, got yeah. some bombs for you so this is actually the tallest building in Croatia. In, Cro in, the, o in, in, in Croatia. the all of Croatia. In the all of Croatia. <laughs> it's had a really rough past though so there has been fires attacks and earthquakes. Oh, the poor 
poor thing. So he's had a little bit of a hard run, so now it's sort of built in that. Uh, what's the official wording for the architecture? It is the neo-gothic style. Oh yeah. So uh, a couple of tidbits, Pope John Paul II was here in 1994 to celebrate, I think it was Zagreb's 900th uh, like anniversary. And apparently, I haven't seen it yet, but there is a clock that is uh, always stays at 7.03. I hear it. Oh, that is perfect timing. There's a clock that is stuck well, at 7.03 but... because that's when the earthquake hit. Oh. It, does, it doesn't change, so we should when go and try. When was the earthquake doing that? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're stretching my knowledge here. Uh, 1880 from memory. <laughs> from memory. <laughs> Let's go find the clock. There's something going on at the moment. There's music and stuff playing. Really, really amazing. Sorry you couldn't come in. Did you have fun without me? I did, but see how many other people were just not paying. I know, but so I just many feel people, like... got so many girls going in with singlets and stuff on when it's clear I'm that you're not supposed to. I'm not judging them, but I just personally choose not to do that. That it's is the fun. right thing to do. I almost forgot to share the craziest story of the whole day. 550,000 is pretty cool, but one of the crazy things that I found out about the cathedral yes. is the the lights in there. The, what do you call the, the hanging... Like a chandelier? Chandeliers are from a Las Vegas casino. Are they? It's so random. I know, so apparently things are not holy. So it's, it's okay, sort of thing. Oh. Yeah. That's very interesting, That's very I had interesting. no idea. Anyway, we're gonna go get our, uh, our Las Vegas on and get ourselves a beer somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> creatures of habit in our last vlog we found this place called Medvigrad? Pivnika Medvigrad and it's like they have local craft beer and crying babies so we were like we've got to come back <laughs> perfect timing it was dead silent before but it's on this really nice little walking street there's a little bit of an atmosphere cool little bars and stuff so we're gonna have a beer chill out camera down and just enjoy ourselves it's important for us to have like these moments where it's just us existing and not film everything but we've done all the exploring for the day anyway so um, if you're new make sure you subscribe to follow along we've got lots more to come from Croatia including some island hopping and cruises and all sorts of treats. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> we'll catch you in the comments.